Greetings, everyone. It's your friend, Miss Blueberry, and I have my special <laughs> friend, Miss Trey, with me. How you doing, Miss Trey? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm awesome. But you know what we have to do first? We have to pray. So we're going to clap our hands two times, and then we're going to hold them together and pray. Ready? One, two. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that we are happy, healthy, safe, and whole. We thank you for all the good things that you do for us, that you rejoice in us always, and that we have wonderful mommies and daddies that take great care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to get started with praise and worship. Can you help us with our praise and worship today, Miss Trey? You know I can. Awesome. Well, I'm ready to dance. I think I have a friend that wants to dance with us, too. It's Rose Catalea. She's excited to dance, dance, dance with us. So everybody get out of your seat. I'm going to share our screen so that we can dance together. I love this new song we have. I better see you off your feet so we can get dancing. Let's make it bigger and press play. share our screen and make it bigger. Everybody off your feet. All right. It's one of my old favorites. Let's make it bigger. And we'll get Miss Lily to dance with us this time. Let's press play. Put your right hand in. You put your right hand out. Put your right hand in and you shake it all about You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about Put your left hand in, you put your left hand out Put your left hand in and you shake it all about You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about Yeah! Give your heart to Jesus Give your heart to Jesus, give your heart to Jesus, and that's what it's all about. Put 
your right foot in, you put your right foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, your left foot out. This you is put your speed. left foot in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Come on and give. You give your heart to Jesus. You give your heart to Jesus. You give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out. You put your head in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out. You put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. Everybody, give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give. Jesus, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Wow! Woo this is so awesome how we give our hearts to Jesus, right, Miss Trey? That's right. Well, that song was important too, because guess what? We're going to talk about what we're going to learn about today. So, guess what, guys? We're going to talk about one of the stories that Jesus taught others. It was about how even if you're sinning, if you come back to God, he will rejoice just over one person. Isn't that exciting, Miss Trey? So oh, we're going to talk about how he taught others about how we love one another, how we're kind. But before we do that, I think it's time for, I don't know, what time is it? Hmm. That's right. It's time for the memory burst. So we're going to head over to Mr. Nick's construction corner. And Ms. Trey, can you help me read our memory burst for today? Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to make it bigger. And I want you to read to everyone our new verse for today. Let's see. All right. Building our faith with our memory verse comes from Luke chapter 15, verse 10. God rejoices in just one person turning away from sin. So God is super happy. He rejoices. He has a party, even if it's just one person that turns away from wrongdoing. Right, Miss Trey? Oh, right. I think we need to praise God that he loves us so much that even one person is enough for him and the angels to rejoice. But what's that sound? <laughs> I think we have a special friend with a special message. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's our friend, Mr. Nick. Are you in your construction corner again? Yes, I am. How you doing, Miss Blueberry? I'm doing great. Well, we've been learning so much from you in your construction corner. What are you working on today? I'm working on uh, shelving for the nursery. Oh, wow. Well, today we're building our faith in meekness. Do you know what meekness means? It means being super quiet. Can you be super quiet for us? Yes, I can. Wow. So, guys, we have to practice being meek and quiet and kind because God wants us to. Right, Mr. Nick? That's right. All right. We love coming to your construction corner. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. What an awesome word from Mr. Nick. I love going to his construction corner. Don't you, Miss Trey? I do. Awesome. I know we're learning so much in our heart, but I think now, after all that learning, it's time for... It's time for the wiggle break. <sighs> That's right. It's time for the wiggle break. Oh, Miss Trey, I can't wait to wiggle today. I think we have a special friend that has new wiggles for us. 
So we're gonna watch really closely. Get out of your seat. Here we go. Let me see you wiggle your head. Let me see you wiggle your shoulders. Let me see you wiggle your fingers. What an awesome wiggle break. I got all my wiggles out. Miss Trey, what about you? I did. Ooh, that was so much fun. So after we wiggle, we always know it's time for, let's see. Hmm. It's story time. <laughs> That's right, it's story time. I have my story time hat on and I love, love, love to watch stories with you guys. So we're gonna share our screen and make it bigger so we can watch together. Now remember, we have to listen with our listening ears very closely so we can answer our questions later. So here we go, Miss Trey, let's share our screen. Oh, Miss Trey, here's our new story. I'm gonna make it bigger and press play. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the lost coin. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Mm. So Jesus told them this story. Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one, uh, uh -oh. won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, hey, everyone, come here. she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, celebrate with me and rejoice because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, the angels of God are joyful and rejoice when even one person stops sinning and follows God. Wow, guys, that was such an awesome story. We talked about the goodness of God and how much he rejoices with us. So after all that we've learned, we know what's next. It's question time. <laughs> all right, Miss Trey. So I'm gonna share our screen. Can you read our questions for us so that all of our children can listen and answer? Absolutely. Awesome, so I'm gonna share and we'll go to our next screen and we'll, you can read all of our questions for us. All right, here's question number one. Okay, who taught the people the lesson today? Hmm, I think Peter was there today, right? No, I think it was our big brother, Jesus. That's right. Jesus taught the lesson today. All right, what's question number two? Next, what did the lady lose in the lesson? I think she lost her ice cream truck. No. no. She lost one of her coins. Oh my goodness, she lost her coin and then she found it. Okay. What's question number three? What did she do when she found it? I think she was super sad. Was that right? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. No, you know what? She was super happy and she told her friends how she found her coin. And what's our last question today? Lastly, what does God do when someone comes to him? So when they stop sinning and come back to God, he rejoices. Everybody rejoice, say yay. Lift your hands and praise. 
God and the angels rejoice even over one person when they come back to him. Isn't that awesome, Miss Trey? So awesome. Oh, my goodness. That was such, such a good lesson. And I loved our question time. But, you know, we worked so hard. We watched our story. We answered our questions. So I think it's time for... That's right. It's time for the wiggle break. Oh my goodness. I need to get all my wiggles out. I'm just too excited. So I think we have a special friend that's going to show us some wiggles today. Are you ready, Miss Trey? I'm ready. All right. Everybody stand up. Let's get the wiggles out. Let me see you wiggle your wrist. Let me see you wiggle your knees. Let me see you wiggle your waist. What an awesome wiggle break. That was so much fun. Oh my goodness, I got all my seats, got all my wiggles out. And now I'm so excited because we have a special friend that's going to help us with the fruit of the day. So everybody watch and listen closely because she's going to tell us all about our delicious fruit. You ready, Miss Trey? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Hi, Casey and Christian. Hi. What do you have on the paper? Strawberries. Strawberries. Christian, what color are strawberries? Red. Yes. Is a strawberry, does it represent a fruit of the spirit? Yeah. Which one? Temperance. Awesome. Can you tell us the scripture about temperance? Sure. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Second Timothy 1, 9. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. What an amazing video about our super fruit, the strawberry. I love strawberries. Do you love strawberries? I and I love having temperance, being calm, being patient. I think that's also what Jesus was trying to teach them today, right? Being patient with others. Well, it's time to share our screen and see what's next. Let's go back to our screen. And Miss Trey, can you read what's next for me? I can. It looks like it's what happened in our story. So can you look at each picture and read at the bottom and I'll talk a little bit too. You ready? All right. Okay, so first, Jesus was teaching a crowd and one of the people was upset that some that were there did not do nice things. Oh, so he talked about that, right? He said some of those people made bad choices so they didn't feel like they should be a part of the group. What happened next? Next, Jesus told him a story about a woman who had 10 coins and lost one, but worked hard to find it. <gasps> Have you guys ever lost anything and found it and you worked really hard to find it because it was important to you? That means it was very valuable. So she looked really hard and she found it. What happened next? Next, he said she rejoiced in just finding that one coin and let others know of her happiness. That's right. Even though she had nine other coins, right? She rejoiced in just one, right? Because she found it. And then what happened? God is happy when one person walks away from sin. That's right. Our big brother Jesus said <laughs> God and the angels rejoice just for one soul that's saved and walks away from sin. Isn't that awesome? He'll always go out and find them in all the groups of people he loves us all. And I just love that because God is so good. He loves us so much that he rejoices when we come back from making mistakes. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's see what's next. Oh, it's my favorite thing. It's our friend of the week. <laughs> Yay, it's my friend, Miss Anaya. Oh, thank you so much for sending in your pictures today, Miss Anaya. We're gonna learn all about you and all these cool pictures you sent in. First thing it says, she loves to climb. You guys, can you pretend to climb like Anaya does? Oh my goodness, I love climbing. Do you love climbing, Miss Trey? I do. Yeah, awesome. It also says she loves to swim. 
everybody, let's pretend to swim too. We even did our song deep, deep, deep in the ocean. I love to swim. Looks like she's hanging out at the pool. That looks so relaxing. And Miss Trey, she loves spending time with her big sister. I love doing that too. I have a big sister, a little sister, and a little brother. I love spending time with my family too, Miss Anaya. Anna says she loves to play dress up in her shoes. Miss Anaya, we thank you so much for being our friend of the week. And guys, you can be our friend of the week too. Just tell mommies and daddies to send Miss Blueberry an email at tprice at linkedupchurch.com. We would love to have you on our show and are excited to learn more about you too. Let's see what's next, Miss Trey. It's time to see you next week. Don't forget to pray, practice your memory verse, and review your lesson. And don't forget to finish your coloring sheet. If you don't get any of those items, remember they're in the Linked Up Church app. So tell mommies and daddies to download it today, or you can get an email from me. Just email me at tprice at linkedupchurch.com like we talked about before. Don't forget you can also help us in our lesson, do the wiggle break, memory burst, and have some fun. So I think it's time to go. We're so sad to leave Little Linkland, but we love you guys so much and we love that you come and join us every week. Make sure you practice your memory verse and you're praying all week. Miss Trey, thank you so much for joining us. We love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.